Welcome to the vlog. Today, I'm outside, which you may think that's kind of obvious, but sometimes people nitpick the most obvious things, the things that you think, what does it matter? Who cares? Take, for example, something very important, near to dear to many of our hearts, uh, how you hold a cigar. Uh, today, the cigars are provided by My Cigar Pack. If you want cigars in your mailbox every month, you should check out My Cigar Pack. Link is in the description. That's the end of this ad, so now you can keep watching. No need to forward. Since I started doing the more cigar videos on this channel, I can't tell you the number of times people have told me the way I hold a cigar is stupid. It's wrong. It's incorrect. You idiot. They say mean things to me. <laughs> it makes me sad. So I was determined to go out and figure out, well, what is the right way to hold a cigar? I came up with five proper ways to hold a cigar. I keep doing this because I think the idea of the proper way to hold a cigar is stupid, but that's what this video is about, so we're gonna go into it. Side note, I'm not actually using a cigar because I don't have time to smoke on right now, so I'm just gonna be holding this container for a cigar. There actually is a cigar in here. You wanna see it? Ooh, maybe. This one is uh, Churchill Company. Nope, Compe. Churchill Compe? What does that even mean? I don't know. I also don't know how to open this, but this is what it looks like. It's this cigar. Anyways, let's figure this out together. What is the proper way to hold a cigar? This hold. This one right here, I'm probably doing wrong and people in the comments will be like, you idiot, you even held it wrong in your how to hold a cigar video. It's possible, because I don't care. This is what I've been shown to be the proper way to hold a cigar. I'm actually looking at a picture to figure this out. Like that, no. Okay, so this is what I've been shown to be the proper way to hold a cigar. It's like you take your hand and you put all three fingers down. So you're like, hey you. Like you're pointing at somebody like pew, pew, pew. And then you just fold this finger and then you stick the cigar through it. And uh, and now this is your gun. Whatever, you can do that if you want. This next one is the way that I hold it because it seems like, I don't know, it's what I naturally do. I just hold it like this, like a normal person holds something. But people will say, oh, it's too flimsy. It could fall out of your hand. Cause you know what I do when I hold a cigar is I always go like this. So you wanna make sure you maintain proper secure that's dumb hold it hard like whatever but this is how i hold it you can use three fingers too guess what you can use four fingers or one finger who cares how many was that i don't know it was too many point is who the heck cares how you hold your cigar hold it however you want you can hold it like this if you want it doesn't matter too often for myself anyways i let the influence of other people dictate decisions i make and choices but too often the biggest critic that we have at least for myself isn't actually other people it's me i find that more often than not the person who treats me the worst is me the internal dialogue i have with myself can often be well, pretty pretty dang bad I'll say things or think things to myself that I would never say to anybody else. I think the reason we do that, at least a lot of people, is that we have an ideal for ourselves. We have a life that we wish we lived or a person that we wish we could be, but we never achieve that ideal. And when we don't, when we let ourselves down in a sense, we tear ourselves up inside. We're always negative inside our heads. and I have found that that's a really tough way to live. The easiest fix for that, I think, that has at least worked for me, is simply being conscious of it and actually having an internal dialogue, which we all do. We're always thinking things. In fact, most of our lives are spent thinking either about the past or the present, which means that our subconscious is automatically living out our lives. And the subconscious is usually where the problems reside. The, pro the things that we want to change, the personality traits, the habits that we have that we want to get rid of all happen automatically. They're subconscious. It's the thing that happens when you drive your car and you get from point A to point B and then you realize you have no idea how you got there. You were thinking about something else the whole time. Your mind was just driving the car itself. That's the subconscious. It's always working. It's always controlling things. So to influence or to change the subconscious, the core of who we are, I think the first step is just being aware of it. 
Every time we think something negative or put ourselves down in our head, try to, I know it sounds stupid, but trying to replace that with something positive, looking on the bright side, all of those cliches that we've heard, actually make a huge difference. If you're positive in your actual words, your physical words, the things you say about a situation, rather than being negative, that plays a huge influence. And that can start to change the internal dialogue that we have to ourselves, those quiet thoughts that we have, just simply being aware, changing how we think of ourselves, the words that we use, that'll eventually change our actions. And eventually, if we do that long enough, we'll create new habits and actually possibly become the people that we wanna be in the first place. When you become aware of how you actually talk to yourself, it can be a little eye-opening, a little like, wow, maybe that's the root of some of my problems. <sighs> Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, um, there's a couple things you could do. Just take a moment, please. Just watch for 30 more seconds. Um, you subscribe to the channel, that's great. Like it, like give us a thumbs up, share the video, comment. But the biggest thing you can do is give me some of your money. I would love some of your money. Um, if you look down below this video, there's a, maybe if it's working right, there should be like some products that you can buy from me personally. I designed it myself. T-shirts and hats. There's a fanny pack on there. It's my favorite fanny pack. There's socks, sweatshirts. There's good stuff. Basically what I'm saying is I'm offering you a trade. I'll give you a custom designed t-shirt with a fictitious tobacco company on it for your money. That's what I want. The way I look at it, the more money I can make from YouTube, and right now I don't make any, the more time I can give it, the more I can grow it, the better content I can put out. So if you want more of this, just just give me your money. I just gave you a way to, to, to give me money. Buy a lot of things. Anyways, give me your money, please. That's all I want. That's all I want you for. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.